I gotta say that this figure is one of the reasons why I purposely missed out on a huge chunk of the War for Cybertron trilogy because of how poorly made a lot of them were and the fact that some of them had way better predecessors. Yeah, you already know that we are going to revisit a special someone in this video. But before we get into that, I just want to thank all of you for helping me reach over 200 subscribers. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel and for the people who have been with me for like, God, already like five years of my entire YouTube career all the way back in 2019. And for those who may not know, I had switched channels like twice. And this is the most subscribers I ever got, so thank you all so much. So, to celebrate this really big milestone, we are going to be looking at RC. Now, if you've seen my review on this Earthrise RC figure, oh, you know how I feel about this guy. I mean, gal. Sorry, I'm more used to reviewing male Transformers. But... There is a new one. It is the Studio Series 86 RC. So here is the box showing some nice artwork of RC. And the back showing the figure herself. And now let's find out if this is truly an improvement to the Earthrise RC. So we start off in her vehicle mode, and I gotta say, transforming RC to her car mode, like, was way, way better than transforming her Earthrise counterpart. Like, you know, it actually felt as if I accomplished something once I got her to her vehicle mode, and it actually felt as if I was transforming a transformer instead of tucking in a robot to a car body. So, anywho, yeah, this vehicle mode just looks way, way better. Like, it is way more cartoon accurate. Like, look at all these sexy curves you get from this car mode. Like, mmm. And the bottom, well, hey, at least it ain't as obvious as the other one. Now it's time to see which one rolls better. Starting with Earthrise. Yeah, it just slides on the surface. It does not roll. Okay. Eh. Now Studio Series 86. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, yeah. We're on the right track here. So for transformation, just like how I said about transforming RC into her vehicle mode, way better than her Earthrise counterpart. And the same thing goes for transforming her car mode to her robot mode, which is what we're going to do right now. So to start off, you want to grab the legs like so and just untap them. Then you hinge this out, rotate the waist, situate her legs, like so. Next what you want to do is basically like sp split these halves in half just until they get unpegged. And now grab the arms. And the next thing you want to do is just fold a section and you grab this, rotate it around, fold this panel down, and fold these other panels up like so. Push the wheels in place. Oh, something got stuck. There you go. 
and now what you want to do is go to the front push this out and fold this down yeah anybody in the mood for spaghetti <laughs> and you want to like collapse everything in place and you do that with a waist like so just like accordion it right there and now fold down the chest and tab in her head and here you have Studio Series A6RC transformed in a robot mode. Just like her vehicle mode, her robot mode is vastly superior to her Earthrise counterpart. Like, here, we're gonna bring this abomination out. And, yep, she just looks way better. And, gonna have her next to the animation model. Like, all the problems that I had with Earthrise RC had now been remedied thanks to Studio Series A6. And the best part is that this RC, like, it actually looks eye-catching. Like, my biggest problem with Earthrise RC is how she just looked boring. Whereas this, again, way more animation accurate. They actually gave her lipstick and made her face a lighter shade of pink. And the same thing for her biceps too. Like they could have easily just cheaped out and molded that in all white plastic. But nope. Glad they went the extra mile. And she even has like a way better physique too. Looking really steamy. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. And her backpack. Yeah, it's big. But at least it looks somewhat accurate to how she appeared in the cartoon. So for articulation... RC has a ball joint in the neck and could look up that far like whoa ball joints in the shoulders still in the bicep really good elbow that's only on one hinge and got universal hips go forward back and in and out Swivel in the thigh, bend in the knee, up and down the ankle, ankle pivots, waist swivel, and best of all, she has ab crunch. For accessories, yeah, pretty lackluster. She just has her little pistol and goes in her hand like so and I mean I know this is accurate to the A6 movie because like that's the only weapon slash accessory she had but I mean I don't know it still feels like something's missing here and for size comparison here is A6 RC next to the dreaded Earthrise RC next to Origins Bumblebee. That's With a society that abandons him and takes him like trash! Now it's time for my final thoughts on the Transformers Studio Series A6 RC. And what else can I say besides what I've been saying several times throughout this entire review? Other than this is just a way better RC figure than the Earthrise RC. Like, just looks better, transforms better, and has way better plastic quality. So, do yourself a favor, replace your crappy Earthrise RC with this Studio Series A6 RC. And the best part is that you could find her for way less than her MSRP. Like, I got mine for only 15 bucks. So, that being said, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're in my new videos, and I'll see you guys next time.